and once I click on approve, it gets approved, right? And uh, once it is approved, it will go further and generate the post. Hello and welcome to day eight of the NADN series. In the previous video, we saw how we can generate image and text using OpenAI's API and then use them to create a post on LinkedIn. But we also saw that there could be an issue in terms of what is generated. It could be in the text or it could be in the image. And you do not want your brand value or your personal value to go down just because you posted something that you never meant, right? So that's why we will introduce human in a loop just to understand how you can control the flow. So let's see how this entire process works. So this is the automation that we had created in the previous video. And so I'll just take it here. This is where we have to introduce the human in loop. So I'll just go here and we have an option called human in the loop. So I'll just click on this and we have a lot of options over here like Discord, Gmail, Google Chat, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Teams, Send Email, Slack, Telegram, WhatsApp, Business Cloud. For the ease of use, let's go with Gmail because most of us would have an account. So let's see how this entire process works. So I'll use the Gmail and it'll ask us to create an account. So we already have an account connected. So we will use that. Resource is message. Operation is send and wait for response, right? And uh, this will be the two email ID. Whom do you want to send the email to, right? So, and this I can put it as abcd at with 7com and the subject could be approval required message, right? What is the message that you want to include? So here is the post that is generated. Please approve if it's good enough to be posted on LinkedIn. Now we have approve or reject thing here. So we'll come to that. But before that, we also have to include the output that is content. So text we will mention like this. Let's go here and image get that from here. OK, so we'll generate the link as well so that we can use the link that can be sent on uh, the step. So let's go here. Let's go to this one and add an option respond with image URLs. So we will include this. Let's execute the step. And this is the URL that we've got. So that's the way we can generate the image with URL, which can be sent on the email. So let me just remove this because we want the human in loop over here. So we'll have to delete this. We'll have to get over here. And we'll have to use a if condition, the condition data transformation or rather flow. And we use the filter and the filter would be execute previous step. We'll have to connect that. So yeah, it's connected. There's a step. It's still waiting for us to respond back. So I'll first go to the email. So let me show you. This is the email that I've got, right? And uh, approve is pending. But before that, we also have to send the image. So I'll go back to this one. And so once the image is generated via URL, uh, we'll have to change this slightly because this is not how it is. I'll just click on this, delete this, delete this and uh, connect this to double click on this and we are getting all the details so i'll go to the image and this image will be the url right so once we have all these details uh we'll quickly check what is the response type that we have like we have approval we have free text or custom form okay and also uh in the options approval options you can see uh, we can have approve only, we can have um, approve, we can have primary button, right? Or we could have approve and disapprove, okay? Approve being the primary button and decline being the secondary button. So you'll understand what this means when we see the email. Okay, so let me come back. So I'll click on execute step and it says waiting for input. So let me just open the email. So here's the email that I've got. This is the text. Here's a post that is generated. Please approve if it's good enough to be posted on LinkedIn. Uh, and the text is this one and the image is this one. So if I click on this, the image generated is this, 
right? So as we can see, this is the primary button. That's why it has color and this is the secondary button. So when I click on approve, what happens is it opens a screen like this and got it, thanks, this page can be closed now, right? So when we go back to the flow, this has a check mark, which means this pro uh, step is executed. Now I'll have to add a flow and add a filter here. Okay, and uh, this is where we can add this one approved is equals to, right? So we can make the Boolean exist or is true. So we can use it as Boolean, click on execute step. So it says approved equals to true because that's what we did. And if it is true, then it can be connected over here, right? Now, there is one thing that we'll have to do because the image does not have data anymore. It is uh, the link. So we'll have to use one step over here, which is HTTP request. Just click on that and it should be a get method. The URL is, so we'll just have to get this one over here, remove this flow, remove this, connect this one to here and connect this one here. So because we don't have the data available now because uh, we generated the image with link, we'll have to add one more step here. And for that, I'll just delete this and I'll go here and search for HTTP request so i'll bring that here and i'll have to just remove this one and get it over here come on yeah <laughs> over here connect these two and then connect this over here double click on this we have cat we have the image url here get the url over here right and uh, click on execute step what this does is it actually downloads this particular image and gets the data that we want. And once that is there, let's go to this one and the image is data, which is coming from HTTP request. So click on execute step and this will be posted on LinkedIn. So let me quickly refresh this and you can see why automation is no longer optional for modern businesses. I delete this. I'll show you how the entire flow works in one stretch. I'll click on save. I'll click on tidy. It'll just make this nicer. If at all, we have messed it up and I'll click on execute workflow. Then you can see that it is generating the text that needs to go out and then the image and it will send me a email and email is just being sent. Okay. So there you go. I'll get the email over here. And this is the message that is why every business needs automation now more than ever, right? And the entire uh, post along with the image. And once I click on approve, it gets approved, right? And uh, once it is approved, it will go further and generate the post. So if I actually go here and refresh this, you can actually see that coming over here, right? Why every business needs automation now more than ever. Okay, so I'll delete this because I don't want to randomly keep posting something. But you know how human in loop can be used in any and flow. Now, in this case, we use the filter, but we could also use a if condition, right? So um, if we go here, flow, we have a if. This would give you true or false. And if it is false, then you can come back over here and generate a new message and new image if required. That's probably for some other day. Yes, I know. Why would anybody want to come here and click on that execute workflow, right? And that's why we are going to cover schedule a workflow in our next video where you can schedule the workflow to run automatically every day, every week, or based on your needs. And once you approve it via email, then it gets posted on LinkedIn. So do not miss out. And of course, we hope that you are enjoying the series so far and you are able to follow whatever we have been doing so far. 
in case if you want us to cover any particular use case do let us know in the community and we will try to do that if it is feasible from our side thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one